What's up guys, Eric, I'm in the studio with the new Arma Outcast EXB. Uh, this is one uh, beautiful looking truck and first of all, huge thanks and shout out to Arma Horizon Hobby for sending this out. It was a big surprise and I cannot wait to get my electronics in it and uh, get her out on the bash field. Uh, the body on this thing is absolutely amazing. All the, all the EXB etching inside there. I mean, just absolutely sick looking truck. And a quick shot inside the truck, guys. Um, you got all your beautiful uh, 7075 parts. I did go ahead and add this uh, M2C uh, uh, front brace rod end right here just to, uh, in case I end up busting the plastic one, I don't, I don't want to have to pull out the receiver box to fix that. So, But everything else in here is bone stock out of the box. Um, I'm really digging the uh, huge uh, links right here, which is a huge upgrade over the uh, older versions. You got that in the rear end in the front. I mean, super beefy rod ends. And then we'll take a quick look at the chassis right here. 7075 T6 chassis. I love all the detail that Arma puts into this. If you can read this, just send it. So I definitely plan on doing that. <laughs> and I also love that they put the sway bars on these EXBs just to uh, hone in on your uh, handling. Uh, that's just another little nice touch. It's also got nice uh, rubber sealed bearings all the way around. And here's a quick comparison on the shocks from the RTR to the EXB. Uh, the one on the left here is the RTR with a standard 5mm shaft and then a plastic rod end. And then here's the EXB with a 6mm shaft and then a super beefy rod end. So definitely a huge improvement. Here's a quick shot of the box. Arma EXB Outcast, large scale full option roller. And then right here it shows all the stuff that's required. Your uh, transmitter, uh, radio, servo, ESC, motor, and batteries. So you can choose whatever uh, goodies you want to put into it. Then what's included here is uh, your uh, your motor slides, your 56 series, and then a 49 series. Uh, the 56 would be for your big block motors, the 49, kind of like a stock spectrum from the RTR. Then you got your uh, 39 through spur gear, so you can change up and experiment in different gearings. And of course, your uh, two different size servo mounts if you want to go with the uh, 1 5th scale servos or the 1 6th scale servos, and then your uh, servo saver adapters. And inside the box comes your instruction manual with uh, some tools. Then, of course, your stickers, which that's the most important part, right? <laughs> and then uh, your different servo mounts, your motor slides with your uh, 39 tooth spur gear. And, of course, your uh, servo saver and springs. All right, guys, I just wanted to give you a quick first look at this uh, Outcast. It's an amazing looking truck. Can't wait to get her suited up and uh, out in the dirt. So, again, a huge shout out to Arma Horizon Hobby. Uh, for uh, for giving us another option in the EXB line uh, again to something you can make your own customize and just have and just have fun That's what it's all about All right guys right here for a quick little uh, uh, first run as far as electronics go uh, in the setup I did throw in a, a hobby wing max 5 ESC and a uh, hobby wing 1100 kV 5687 I'm geared 39 30 uh, this is the 39 tooth uh, spur gear that came in the uh, package as an optional gear so I threw that in there and as far as the gearing goes I did 500 in the rear I got the stock 20 million in the center and then 1 million in the front uh, I didn't want to go any thicker in the center diff than the stock 20 million because I do want this truck to be able to hold down power as much as possible without just being a complete wheelie machine uh, some standing back flips would be nice from time to time but you know you can always play around with that later everything inside the truck here is bone stock EXB except for this uh, M2C goodie right here this front chassis brace rod end uh, just because I don't want that piece snapping right there again because it's too much of a pain to uh, change it so all right guys we're gonna get for a quick little first rip see what's up it's one good looking truck guys <laughs> Guys, this thing's pretty fast on the uh, 3930 gearing. Thank <laughs> you. 
guys, I just got through running a set of packs. I just want to uh, check the motor temps real quick. I forgot my uh, temp gun. It's in my other toolbox. Um, but this motor is uh, pretty hot to the touch. Uh, that was some pretty hard running. Um, I'm running 6,000 milliamp Z LiPos in here, 100 C, so it's not a lot of run time, but I like to uh, keep the packs as light as possible in these trucks to try to, to try to take off on the weight uh, you know, as much as you can. Um, so probably a 29 tooth, 28 tooth would probably be a sweet spot for this truck during, you know, with that particular setup. I'm uh, definitely gonna give her a cool down in between packs. And one quick tip, guys, on the battery trays here as I'm swapping the batteries. Uh, you got these uh, slots in your battery trays for a, for a strap to go lengthwise. It doesn't come stock like that, but I would highly recommend putting one in. Um, I just get these rolls of Velcro that's rough on one side and soft on the other, and you can just uh, strap it however you need to. But if you strap this in, uh, going lengthwise, and then really pull it down like that and get it tight, it really holds everything in snug. And if you have an upside down landing or a bad or bad uh, hit or something, you're not gonna bust these uh, stock battery straps, which that's always kind of a pain. So this holds everything in and this, these suckers are super thick. You're not gonna bust those. Oh, the old RC traps again. <laughs> Caught the lip of that hill right there. That was rough. Oh. Man, put a crater in it too. She's still going. Oh, <laughs> I landed on that down slope. That could have been good or bad. She's still going. Oh, ah, damn RC trap. <laughs> All right, guys, that's gonna be it for the maiden run. <laughs> this, thing is, this thing's a blast. Uh, super tough, uh, straight out of the box. Uh, we're gonna pop this lid and, uh, and see if there's any damages. Oh, I see a bent chassis brace already. Uh, but just taking a quick glance at the chassis. <clears throat> Stock EXP chassis. It looks relatively straight, uh, from what I can tell. Might be a slight bow in the center, uh, but it's not bad at all considering uh, what this truck took. Again, this is a 30 plus pound truck. And when you're airing it out like that, and uh, I mean, you know, it, these chassis take a lot. So we'll pop the lid real quick. Oh yeah. <laughs> Definitely got a front, I mean, a, a bent brace up here up front. Uh, all the other braces look all right, as far as I can tell. All the uh, plastic rod ends are still, still together. The MTC rod end's still good. Oh, that motor's hot. Uh, but everything else looks all right in the truck. Uh, the shocks, the shocks, uh, I'm not sure if I'm picking this up, but they still look perfectly straight. Didn't break any rod ends the entire time. Back shocks still look perfectly straight, still butter smooth. So that's a huge improvement over the, over the old RTR versions. Drive shafts look all right in the back.
Drive shafts, drive shafts look all right. Might be a little bit of bow on this one right here. But overall, the truck took it. Again, it's a huge uh, shout out and props to Arma Horizon Hobby for another, another awesome vehicle in the EXB line. Um, just something that you can buy, just bare bones and just make it your own with your own electronics. Uh, any other upgrades you want to do, it's just it just gives you a nice uh, bare bones package. And I want to give a big thanks again to Armin Horizon Hobby for giving me a chance to uh, run this truck. It's an amazing uh, platform, having a lot of fun with it. We'll get that fixed up and uh, make a few other tweaks on it and we'll get out again soon. Until next time, RC Dude 81. Peace out.